Hey everybody, I just received my hostess order box from my latest Epicure party. And so I wanted to come and unbox it with you. Um, I got a whole lot of stuff for like nothing. It was 36 for all of this. Um, and so I'm super, super excited. I did order the three week meal collection to sort of get us through this self quarantine isolation period, um, as well as, um, you know, just highlight that um, Epicure is awesome. The home office has been awesome. And so they've extended um, my new consultant period, which means I have more $40 gift certificates to offer through the month of April. So it's easy to do an online cooking class and help you get a similar box um, of goodies um, with a lot of um, extra hostess credit. So you know, it's one of those things, what else are we doing here besides drinking a lot of wine? By the way, it is um, 3.48 p.m. So rules, anytime after three is happy hour, um, unless you follow airport rules in which anytime is happy hour. But, um, you know, I'm about to start prepping for dinner, pour myself a glass of wine, um, because that's what I love to do. So um, here is my box and I'm super, super stoked to get it open. Um, and show you guys what I got. So I did order one of the mystery bundles and we do have a couple available still on the website. Um, I don't remember which one I got and I'm not gonna tell you for the sake of not spoiling surprises, um, but I'm super excited to see what it is because they're 25 and they're valued at 50 plus dollars. So I am a bargain hunter, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so let's take a look. Here's my receipt. Lots and lots of stuff. You know it's a good deal when it goes on to the second page. So, anyway. Um, let's see. I got a perfect portion scoop set. So, um, this has got to be... Let me flip it around for y'all so it's not backwards. Um, so, I have some of these already. So, this is great. can use these as a giveaway. Um, but I love these perfect portion spoon sets. I don't know how to make it go back down. There we go. Um, because they are great for um, portion control, as you can see right through there. Um, it's all about balanced eating. I have mine right here. Um, so they're super handy little cups that uh, stack inside each other. And then they're color coded to um, uh, help you decide there's a chart that comes with it um what goes with what so obviously you know this is um a serving of vegetables um a serving of carbs protein um fats so i love 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 these um they're super great for those who need visual help um doling out their plates and figuring out what to eat so oh debbie got them yes they're so good i want to hear how she likes them I want to hear how she likes them, Megan. So um, that is a mystery treat for sure because they did not order that. Um, let's see what else. So exciting. Um, <clears throat> I forgot what I ordered. Isn't that crazy? All right, so we've got some seasonings in here. Let's see. Three onion dip. So I got this, um, this is probably part of, um, oh, what is it? The uh, Extraordinary Trio, I think this is part of it. I ordered that, so it's a three dip mix and when you mix it together and bake it with cheese, that's the one we made last week, it's uh, super yummy. So three onion dip. All right, keep me posted, Megan, when you use your perfect portion scoops. I wanna hear the full report. Um, CCB, so that stands for cheese chives and bacon, um, and there's actually no bacon in here, so this is still okay for people who are vegetarian. Um, what is it that they call imitation bacon flavored bits? And when they say imitation flavor, it's not full of garbage. It's actually made out of pinto beans, sunflower oil, salt yeast extract, natural flavor, and tor torula yeast. I don't know what that is, but you know they're always coming up with fancy handy substitutions like cassava root. I didn't know they made a flour out of that. 
and Lemon Dilly, which is probably a staple. If you've never purchased an Epicure product, I would definitely suggest Lemon Dilly because there's so many things you can do with it. Whether you want dip, um, I use it to marinate fish or chicken. Um, you could turn it into a salad dressing. Um, so I really like this. I add it to a lot of things. So these three are the um, Extraordinary Cheese Trio. Um, and it's like super cheap. I don't know prices off the top of my head. I'm not that good yet, guys, plus quarantine brain, you know. Um, but I want to say it's like $25, maybe $30, $35 for the three. Um, normally, they're about $10 each, so it's a good deal. Um, next thing I have, fajita seasoning. Yum, yum. That's part of the Switch the Six collection. Um, and so that is... Um, Actually, that's a box, so this might be an extra. This might be part of my mystery. Um, but I love this. We made this last week. It comes in the Mexican box, which we also liked. And this is definitely a mystery treat. And I'm crazy excited for it right now because we didn't order it. And now I'm stoked. Um, it's our curry seasoning. And so this is actually retiring right now. Um, it's on our last chance list. The last day to get it is April. April 4th maybe even I'll have to look that up but um I love curry we're super huge curry fans in this house so um I'm so gonna use this probably on everything um my craving for curry is probably like a pregnancy craving and no I'm not pregnant but that's how strong it is like we walk in we have this favorite Indian restaurant and it's like I walk in and I'm just like melting at how good it smells so I could eat curry on everything so I'm super excited for that so let's put the mystery stuff over here and put it together at the end and figure it out Miso broth. This is going to be a mystery too. I do love miso soup. Anybody a super fan of that? Um, I love Kodo. There's a Japanese steakhouse here called Kodo and I, I love just the soup and salad from there. I don't know what it is about it. And you know what? I keep buying these like ginger dressings to try and find an imitation and I have yet to. So um, I know we have one too. I think ginger sesame. So I'll have to try it and see how it stacks up. And balsamic vinaigrette, so that's a salad dressing mix. Um, you could use it to um, marinate in as well. So that's gotta be mystery. So many mysteries. I love mystery. So this is the Switch the Six collection. So I got it because there are a lot of basics in here that I really wanted. Um, and it was a good price for all of them versus buying them one at a time. Um, and this is totally based on switching out some staples in your um, cabinet. For example, ranch. There's uh, ranch in here. I'm pretty sure I should check first. But um, because a lot of ranches like that you would buy at the store are actually really gross. I know I shared um, a statistic or a fact that I found on the internet. A lot of them have um, an agenting in them to an agent in them to make them appear more white um but it's actually the same stuff they put in sunscreen and paint and like gross stuff um but it's in such a small amount that you know the fda is like oh yeah you can eat that um because ranch is actually supposed to really be more of an off-white yellow like it's kind of gone bad right because it's uh, traditionally made out of buttermilk right and buttermilk is not white so um pretty gross pretty gross pretty gross um mom got it too what what'd your mom get megan I didn't see that come through. So, um, inside, so it's got a list of the different things inside in this little card. And so, um, there is a fajita seasoning in here. So, this has got to be part of my mystery treat, too. So, we'll, we'll review that in full. <clears throat> but you have creamy ranch. Creamy ranch comes in this. And I'm so excited because ranch dressing is my vice one of my favorite things is ranch dip with chips even though i know chips are bad for you but i love it it's like my midnight snack thing that and i love those instant cheesy potatoes that are so terrible for you but they just taste so good like i would just make a bowl and eat it at you know 10 p.m um three onion dip again so that does come in both the extraordinary trio and the switch the six but um you know it's one of those things gift it to your mom or hold on to it another fajita seasoning 
and chicken broth. I know a lot of you guys wanted to try the chicken broth and I do have some samples of it too. So um, let me know, but I'm excited for this because it's so hard to find chicken broth without a lot of sodium and without gluten in it. So I'm very excited about this. And then underneath that inside, there also comes with the mac and cheese mix and some more chocolate pudding. So I love both of these and I'm super excited about that. So that is awesome. It's just gonna go in my cabinet. <clears throat> it's like one of those things I wanna hold on to the uh, box, right? Oh, I'm gonna take it to a party. It's just so cute to show. Not that we're going anywhere anytime soon, anybody. But, um, you know, I, I'm a hoarder, I'm a hoarder. But the box is super cute, look at that, so cute. I love their marketing, or packaging, I guess you'd say. Oh, here is the recipe card for the Extraordinary Cheese Dip. So that came with the trio. Um, and then, this is gonna be my three week meal collection. Which I wonder if this is what um, it is about. Oh, it's my lucky day. Oh, so it tells me, I guess I should have read this before my, um, before I was trying to guess what my lucky mystery is, but I still won't tell you the number. That way it's a, still a surprise for many of you. Hungry much? Yes. Haven't you heard, Dean? There is, you know, a worldwide problem and we're supposed to stay home and eat, right? That's what we're all going to do. We're going to come out of this 10 pounds heavier. All right, so three taco seasonings. Again, super hard to find taco seasonings without um, a lot of sodium and gluten. And I love tacos. More mac and cheese. There should be three of those. We've got Alfredo, which is actually what we're gonna have tonight. I'm gonna be cooking up some self seafood Alfredo for our familia. Cha cha chili. I'm so stoked for this. I love, love, love chili. And that's another seasoning too. It's super hard to get it gluten free and low sodium. Um, I did find a few over the over the counter a few like store brand and like Walmart gluten-free section, which is pretty much like six items. Um, but again, it's super overpriced for what it is. And, um, you know, it still has all kinds of junk in it. So I'm super excited for the chili seasoning. There's how, and then pulled chicken. I just had a huge discussion last night. Pulled chicken, pulled pork, which is better. Um, and it came down to it. The pulled pork is a little spicier than the pulled chicken, but they're both delightful and they can both be interchanged on items. So you're not limited to just chicken when you make pulled chicken. And then there's more um, mac and cheese and Alfredo. So um, don't mind my super cluttered um, counter now, but I will... Um, Show you just all the stuff I got um, for hosting this. Sorry, that was a really ugly angle. So, got all of that plus all of this. Um, and so it's great to have that extra bonus um, forty dollar offer. I do have some more if anybody is interested in claiming one of those. But I'm loving, I'm loving this mystery treat. Like, so for uh, your reference for that, which. I did use Hostess Awards on and could, which is great. <clears throat> I guess I should say host because men can host too, but uh, creature of habit, hostess. But um, so this is, I think, 650, 650. So that's 14. These are 950 each. So 18, 19 plus 14 is 29. 33 plus I don't even I don't even know what these are so it is it's going to be at least 10 bucks right 33 so 43 dollars for 25 and I paid I think I paid half off so 12 dollars for it all so super super exciting um anyway just wanted to come on and share um my goodies and i hope you guys are having a great day and not going stir crazy i hope you're finding things to do um if you find any good things to binge watch let me know comment them below because i'm out of ideas um and my kids are driving me crazy so chat with you later